unboxing, getting an initial impression, maybe making an espresso with the DeLonghi La Specialista Arte EC155. That is what we want to do today. Hello coffee friends, I am Tom from Tom's Coffee Corner and I like to do espresso economically. And this is a pretty economical machine. So this is the second iteration by the this kind of combination machine from DeLonghi that's got a grinder as well as espresso making. So let's unbox it, see what it all comes with, and make uh, hopefully an espresso with it. Can everybody hear me okay? If so, write something into the comment area. So let's just get started. One very interesting thing about this uh, EC9155 model is that it comes with, and it's described right here, non-pressurized baskets. So this is the first time this machine, as well as the Maestro and the Prestigio, thank you, Nicholas, um, they come with non-pressurized baskets, which means to me, well, then the grinder should also grind fine enough for espresso. That's what I'm thinking. Well, and you all know that I am a DeLonghi fan. I really do like his company. So I'm very curious to try this machine out. So the first thing we're gonna unbox, it's just a little package here. <clears throat> Let's see what's in here. Pretty nice packaging. Ooh, and here we go, right here a non-pressurized basket. So that must be the double basket there. And it comes as well with a second basket. Looks like that must be the single basket. So right away, very good thing, two non-pressurized baskets. Also got all kinds of manuals here. We're not gonna look at that right now. I will do a full proper review of this machine after I've spent some time with it but this should be good to get some initial impressions. By the way, before I go further, um, if you would like to support the channel, please like the video, and if you'd like to see more like this in the future, subscribe to the channel. So the next thing that we got here is a proper portafilter. This portafilter feels really heavy, and it looks nice, I think. It's made either out of uh, chrome-plated brass or stainless steel. Whatever the case, it's much heavier than the Dedica. So that is a nice portafilter. What else have we got in here? Mm-hmm. A proper tamper. It is a 51 millimeter, by the way. 51. So this is a nice tamper. Pretty heavy, it does have here a plastic handle. Uh, this part here is, is metal, I'm guessing that's stainless. And the top part, I don't know if that's metal or if that is plastic, but it's a nice tamper. So there you go, have a look. Two very important things along with the baskets, awesome. All right, we're doing good so far. We also got some softballs. I guess that's some kind of cleaning stuff and we got some eco decalc so that's nice this stuff is a little bit expensive it's nice that they include some there's a couple of other little things in there a brush this looks like that must be a cleaning pin for cleaning out the steam holes of the steam wand so that's that and a brush does anybody ever use these little brushes? All right, so let's just put that back in here. Pretty nice little packaging. The next thing that we've got is, and this is quite cool, is 
as a lift to lift up your espresso cup a bit higher. So that's kind of nice. And finally, <clears throat> I have to be smarter than the packaging. Finally, we've got a milk pitcher here. So, this setup basically comes with everything that you need to make espresso and also milk drinks. It's a pretty nice, nice feeling, relatively heavy milk pitcher, a nice non-pressurized basket, tamper, and heavy water filter. And now what we've all been looking forward to is to take a look at the machine itself. This is apparently 8.8 kilos, so it's heavier than the Dedica by about twice as much. All right, there is the machine in all of its glory. And uh, you know, I saw this machine posed next to the Maestro and the Prestigio, and I thought this one looked nicer. Take a look online. Tell me what do you think? Does this look nicer than the Prestigio and the Maestro? In my opinion, it does. It's smaller. Uh, I just like like the face of it and the branding. I think it looks really nice. So let's just go through the instrument panel. Right here we've got a dose level. Maybe I should bring the camera a little closer. Right here we got a dose level for your grinds. We got either one or two time your grind amount, so I guess that's for a single or double. When the machine is powered up and when it has um, uh, heated up as well, the OK should light up. You've got three temperature settings here, low, medium, and high, I'm guessing. And then you got different water amounts. So you got espresso, Americano, and hot water. Finally, you got steam. Now what I'm missing here, unfortunately, is um, there's, no, there's no steam knob anymore. So you can't feather it at all. And I do like to be able to just kind of quickly purge the steam one. So we'll not be able to do that with this. Well, what else is nice compared to the Dedica is we have an integrated steam uh, manometer as well. Manometer is what I meant to say. All right. Let me get set back up. Oh. And one more thing that I forgot to mention. It does also come with a dosing and tanning guide. So that's cool too. This is basically a funnel. I saw it at the store. Just put that on there, plug it in the machine, and that way you don't have to worry about a mess. So you don't have to buy a funnel either. Pretty nice. Okay, so that is about that with the DeLonghi La Specialista Arte in regards to initial impressions. I think I'll just uh, turn the machine on and we'll see what it looks like in operation. So, Side tamper build on the side. No, it doesn't. It does not. 
Any other questions? It's really small. Yeah, it's pretty small. Okay, so I do have a few things set up already. I feel kind of like a cooking show here. We're going to it with all my stuff. So, what the machine doesn't come with is one of these, a, um, a spent shot holder, and uh, otherwise it comes pretty much with everything. Oh, the side is plastic. The side is plastic. The tray is metal. Okay. So, there we go. I'm going to fill it up with water. This is the tank at the back. to go. I got my rake here and got an extra cup, a couple of espresso cups. I also brought this bottomless porta filter so we can take a look and some milk. Do I have a small tanking station? In the packet? Yeah, the tamping station should be in there somewhere too. The tamping station I'm not sure where that went. Maybe it's still in the box. Let me have a look. Oh, shoot, it's gone. It's missing. Mm -hmm. No, I saw the tamping station displayed at the store, but I don't know where it is. Actually, it should be in the box. I don't see it right now. Ah, I have an idea. I have an idea. I bet you. Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's a little lid here where you can put stuff. So yeah, you can fit the tamping thing right in there. I'll take that out. And also, there is an indentation right here where you can put your tamper. So that's kind of nice. You can't see in the video. I'll show you in a minute. All right, so let's just turn the machine on one time. Oh, it's here on the side. Is that metal? Not metal enough, I guess. Huh. Oh well. So yeah, this right here is the tanking station. All right, it says okay. Let's just try to get some hot water out of there to purge the machine, or to prime the machine, rather. Oh, there's the hot water. <laughs> okay. There you go. Let's try that again. Is it still blinking? That's interesting. Well, it takes a little while to heat back up, I guess. All right, I'm just gonna let out a little bit more water to make sure it's primed properly. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, you see the water comes out there 
This is apparently only for Steam, so I'm curious how good that does with Steam. Let's run the Steam mode one time. Wow, that was pretty steamy. So, so far, so good. Okay. Now I guess uh, what we'll do is just put some beans in and we'll see if we can get a decent shot out of it. I have no clue. I have never used one of these types of machines from DeLonghi before. So, is anybody curious? I am. Let's see. I believe this model was released, by the way, in 2021. Yeah, this is the Tampion station. I hope you guys can still hear me. I'm using this. I'm using this uh, microphone here, and uh, yeah, normally I use a lapel mic. In fact. here okay now you should be able to hear me better so one thing I did notice by the way about this grinding thing here is you can't take it off on the Prestigio and the Maestro models you can take this off so that's a little bit of a pain in the butt I'm gonna try it just starting at four and see what happens I got these fresh beans right here these are Santa Lucia beans Got these from Coffee Friend. They're pretty good. Okay. So let us give it a shot. It says dose level here, um, 10, 20, 30, 40. I don't really know what that means. I did bring a scale. So. I'm gonna tear out the scale and just try to aim for 15 grams. The manufacturing date uh, was April 6th. Actually, it looks pretty fine. It should be, it's not going to be quite fine enough like that. I'll probably have to go to three or two. But let's see how much we got. Ah, 15.2, that'll work fine. Okay, so what's interesting about this tamping guide is just set it in there like, like that. And this is supposed to act also as a leveler, so that you tamp level. We'll see how good of a job I do. Okay, and that's what it looks like right there. I'm going to let out a little bit of water first, warm up the group head and everything. OK. 
Okay. Now, here we go. Hey, look at that. I don't even have to hold the machine. It stays put on its own. Nice. Okay, here we go, guys. I'll do a camera close up. Let's have a look. That's going to be a ristretto. I haven't programmed the buttons, obviously. This is really a live unboxing, so that's a bit too short for me. That should be probably more like twice that amount. Oh, you're right, WDT. I can do that with the next shot. So I'm just going to give it a taste. Yeah, it could be hotter, could be hotter. But yeah. As somebody wrote, these are the stock settings. So I'm guessing in order to get a larger espresso, I'm gonna to have to adjust that. So let's try to adjust the shot amount. Oh, and in fact, here's the double right here. That's a single and that's a double. Let's try next time. I'm gonna do two more shots. One with this guy with a double shot and hopefully it's gonna let out enough. And then I'm going to do a final shot with this bottomless porta filter, if anybody would like to see that. Okay, so here we go. Remove that. And since actually the needle was right about here, I'm guessing that was closer to, I don't know, nine or 10 bars, maybe even higher. It was a little outside of the optimal zone. So I'm going to probably put this back to four. Okay, well, let's just give it a shot. That might be a little bit too much this time. Unfortunately, I forgot to weigh it out. I forgot to tear out my scale, so I'm gonna have to dump this. Let's try that again. Pretty good. WDT is, by the way, where did that go? It's this little tool here. And if you can see that, it's just got little acupuncture needles. And what you can do is, can you see that? Here, you just stir it around, starting from the bottom, going to the top. And that helps with the distribution to hopefully get a more even shot. Let's see if my scale fits underneath there. That's also important to know. It does, thank goodness. Let's tear that out. Let's see how much we get out. Should be a double dose and okay. The chugging must be the pre-infusion. Sounds like a train. 
Oh boy. I think I packed too much in there on accident. Well, we can make this partially a dialing in video as well. You see, that's definitely running too slow. We're already at 30 seconds and we only got nine grams out so far. So this one is gonna probably taste pretty bitter. But hey, what it's telling me so far, and which is great, is this grinder can actually grind fine enough for espresso. Okay, that's about double. Listen. I think it has a three-way solenoid valve. I'm pretty sure that it does. I didn't hear it. I'll have to confirm that for you guys later. Let's see how this tastes. Mm -hmm. That one's hotter. I don't have the mouthfeel down yet. I'm gonna have to do some more experimenting with this grinder in there and with the ratios to get a better mouthfeel. But for just a first attempt, not bad. Okay, so last thing that I wanna do today, and thank you guys for hanging out with me this whole time. The last thing that I wanna do is a bottomless shot. And um, yeah, I'll try to make a cappuccino too. So this is my bottomless porta filter. I got this from Normcore. I really do like their products. They're very well made. Yeah, look at that. I can put it on this guy too. Gotta add more beans. Yeah, where are we now? Okay, thirteen point seven. Let's just put like another gram and a half in there. So let's do the WDT again. That does help to get a better shot. Okay, 15.3 grams. I'm gonna call that good. doesn't actually have the same kind of taps. Look at that. Oh man. That is a shame. That's a shame. These tabs on these newer machines are, are smaller, quite a bit smaller. This is from the Dedica. I thought for sure that was going to fit and it doesn't. Oh well. Um, let's just make a cappuccino next. We'll end the video making a cappuccino. So, let's see, should I pull another shot? Got 23 people watching. Yeah, I might as well pull another shot. Why not? Why not? I've got to say that this dosing and tamping guy, that is pretty nice. It's nice to have a built-in funnel.
15.2, perfect. And I wouldn't say that the grinder is slower than my Specialita. The Specialita that I have downstairs from Eureka, that also requires, it's probably like a gram a second, and this seems to be even a little faster, to be honest. So hopefully we got the dosing right on this one. That it comes out in the right amount of time. Let's tear out our scale and let's pull a shot. Okay, I just got the question of whether it displays numbers or just the optimal zone. Unfortunately, I, it does not display numbers, but I'm guessing that the upper part is most likely right around nine bars or 10 bars, and the red part is probably above that. Try to switch the seep, Tom, to the bottomless port filter. Yeah, I tried the bottomless, but it doesn't fit, unfortunately. All right, so we're just gonna do one more thing here, and that is, let's try to make a cappuccino. Let's see if we can make any kind of latte art. Give me a second, please, to adjust my angle. Okay, let's see how this works. Pretty good power. I would probably need another couple of attempts to get the milk to a better consistency. This is really the first time that I'm trying on uh, any kind of Spezialita machine. But that's not so bad for a first attempt. So, let's see. Um, I think I'll just answer any more questions that I uh, see from you guys. 
looks a bit bubbly. Yeah, it is a little bit bubbly. <laughs> but hey, for, for first attempt, it's not too bad. And let's see how it tastes. I'm sure that I can make good milk foam with this, uh, with just a little practice. Mmm. That's very good. It's creamy, it's delicious. It's just what I would actually hope for. Nice one for the first time. Yeah, thank you, Anis. <laughs> I appreciate that. So Sergio TGA says that he doesn't like the machine. He prefers the Dedica and a grinder. Yeah, but I mean, I'm, I, I wanted to look at this machine because it offers a grinder and a machine in one. And for some people, that's really what they're looking for. Now, let's see. I might just stay on for a couple more minutes. Just like that, perfect. Okay. All right. Okay, so Anus asks, is the steam wand like the Sage one? It looks the same. No, it's definitely not. The Sage is just crazy. Uh, that Bambino, the Bambino has got such a wonderful steam wand on it. This one I think is a one tip. Yeah, it's a one tip. And it doesn't have the same kind of power that the Sage Bambino has. That thing is insane. I like using that Sage Bambino to steam milk even more than the La Spaziale I have. That's a dual boiler that costs 1500 euros. I like it more than the Dedica, for sure, more than the Gasha Classic Pro. That Sage Bambino, that is really the best thing about it, is the steam. Those Australians who designed that, they call it Breville, by the way, in Australia and in North America. They designed a really excellent steaming machine. It's Europe exclusive pack. I don't really know. It could be that they have different packages for America or for Europe. But I'm pretty sure that all of these, the new line here, the Arte, the Prestigio, and the Maestro, they all have these non-pressurized filters now. And hey, I think it's pretty darn good. If you don't want to make a big mess on your countertop, then this grinder will grind fine enough for espresso. So you can be pretty satisfied with that. I think in the households where you're looking for a machine that combines two in one. The machine looks nice and you just made the latte art so easy and comfortably. Oh, thank you. That's nice, Gizem, I appreciate it. Next one up, uh, the Bar Barista Express. Okay, hold on, Anis, I have a little surprise for you. Little surprise. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to move this one this way, actually. Need my tablet. Just bear with me one moment while I clean up, please. I made quite the mess again. Here we've got the Dedic, uh, we, we've got the La um, Specialista Arte, and here we have what you would call in Europe the Sage Barista Express, or the yeah, this one is the Gastroback. It's the same. Gastroback is what they called Sage before it was called Sage. Or in America, this is called the Breville Barista Express, and this is an incredibly popular machine. It's a gas for back Ennis, yes, but it belongs to Sage. So those three names belong together, Sage, Gas for back, and uh, 
a brevel. That's just how it is. So I'll probably do a comparison of these two machines. And if you look on the internet, by the way, whether they're called brevel or Gasterbeck or Sage, they all look pretty much exactly this exactly the same. The only difference is that over time, this changed from a square to a circle, I believe, the top and the name is different. Otherwise, the layout, everything is the same. Yeah, Tom's Coffee Shop. <laughs> uh, yeah, they have different names. I don't know why they do that. It must have something to do with marketing. That in North America and Australia, they like that name Breville. And uh, in Europe, I guess they like Gastroback. Yeah, anyway, this is also a nice machine. You know, this one has got a head start on DeLonghi and they were so successful with this machine. This one also gets hotter, I would say. So there's a hot plate on top and the porta filter does feel pretty hot after it's on, been on for a while. So I think that's got uh, active heating on the porta filter. So, I mean, they're both cool machines. Just pick what you like better. What do you prefer the looks of? Do you think this one looks nicer or do you think this one looks nicer? And as far as usability there, they're quite similar. I would say. They're both cool machines. I think the Delonghi looks cooler. I mean, it's also newer. So they had more time to modernize the design and, and to refine the original one that they made. Uh, Ennis asks if I prefer a 58 millimeter porta filter over a 51. I have, uh, I mean, the Gaja is 58. This is 54. Uh, the La Spaziale, by the way, is 53. And this is 51. And I worked shortly at a, at a cafe as like a, just a short part-time worker. And they had a Dalla Corte machine and that was 53 millimeters too. So in a restaurant like a gastronomy setting, they will often use a smaller porta filter also. And I don't know why that is, but I don't think it's a disadvantage necessarily. Hi, Roberto. Okay, I think that's going to just about do it for today. I don't need to make it any longer than necessary. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Check in into the uh, description box below for more information. And if anybody else who's watching this later would like to learn more information about this machine, I got some Amazon links in the description below. So check that out. Howdy, Rui. More videos like this, Ennis. Okay, you like the live videos, do you mean, or the comparison videos? Anyway, I appreciate you guys being with me on my lunch break today. And it's almost over, so I better get the heck out of here. Thanks so much, guys. Take it easy. We'll see you next time. Oh, happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. De nada, Sergio.